are set for the opening tip. Bill Cartwright steps in to go against Jerome Kersey. Here comes Drexler. Yes, and it comes. Long outlet passes that pitch ahead to Drexler and Kersey in the open floor. One of the trademarks of this Trailblazer team, Clyde with a tremendous ability to keep his concentration and convert even though the foul takes place. One. The results, Drexler ran out. Jordan spotted the pepper. The great ones have the ability to elevate and then see the entire floor. Michael Jordan draws three people and then finds Pippen underneath. Drexler just over 31% against the Bulls. Michael Jordan. Jordan at the offensive end of the floor, the ability to hang just long enough to get that good look at the front of the rim. Tremendous concentration by three on two for the Blazers. Drexler all the way. When you get a guy who can take it at 6-7, lead the break, and then just decide to finish it over the top of everyone, man tells the truth. <laughs> 11 from the field. Jordan again from three-point land. Now Jordan posting up. Goes to the fadeaway, through the foul, it comes. Chicago knows it can do is post up Michael Jordan at any time it wants to during the course of a season. They didn't use it much in the regular season, but in the playoffs, they've gone to it more and more. Blazers lead, 19-15, Porter again. Terry Porter, don't drop back because he's going to pull up and try to shoot it in your face. He feels it right now in the playoffs. Quick shot, Drexler on the follow-up. For Robinson. Yeah. Five. There's Pippen setting up Jordan. Wide open for another three. Blazers get back. Pippen back for Jordan again for three. In the first quarter. That time he passed it up and hits the two. Against the Chicago team, you can't wait for the ball to come to you. Oh, a strong move by Kersey to draw the foul that leads by two. Kersey, the ability to put it on the floor, take it to the basket, one of the big pluses for this Trailblazer team. Chicago, 25, two minutes remaining in the first. Jordan eluding Robinson. Yes! Fast or slow. Here behind the back, he just tricked. Cliff Robinson went right up. He, he's in his groove right now. He's feeling it. He wants the ball. Shot clock at five. There's Pippen. He's been quiet. Took off on the shot, was down the floor, just waving, hoping Pippen would look up. Danny Ainge buries the three pointer. The three point line. Robinson with the step as he whipped by Williams. We talked about, can Williams guard Robinson? Well, off of this play right here, you'd have to say he's going to have a long night. The same for Clyde Drexler, and they match up once again. Here's Jordan to the fadeaway. Who just checked in. See, Jordan is looking to the lane to see if Grant's open there for a split second. When he doesn't like what he sees there, well, then he makes something nice. Nice happen for the team. because as the ball goes on the floor, the entire defense of the Trailblazers collapses down below the dotted line area. As a result, when the ball comes back out, it takes Danny Ainge too long to recover, and then he's worried Michael's gonna ball fake and go around them. The result, a clean look at the rim for Michael Jordan. Four and a half for an NBA Finals game. That's Jordan with the steal, eluding Ainge. The deciding factor here might be turnovers, which then lead to quick shots. The turnover caused by Michael Jordan's defense, the quick shot caused by Michael Jordan's offense at the other end. 4-47. Drexler went for the steal, and a Jordan again. 11 for 17, 27. Oh, Percy with a facial grant. away from most points scored in a half in an NBA final. The steal by Pippen. Jordan. 
Drexler for three. Air ball. Chicago Bulls, Pippen off the right. What a recovery by Pippen. When you can get easy scores off a jump ball situation, it's such an advantage. You take advantage of every opportunity presented to you, the Chicago Bulls. Double double right now, 10.7 rebounds, seven assists. At the end of this layup, watch how he almost loses the ball right there, but those big hands hold on just long enough to guide it in. The soft touch by Scottie Pippen. Water. Here's Pippen. Yes, and it counts. Scotty Pippen has the mismatch. No way Duckworth can play him off the dribble. Pippen shows him this is the way to the basket, big guy. But credit, credit Horace Grant with this move because Horace Grant moved out of the post for him. That enabled the, the lane to open up. Jordan being played by Kersey. One way is if you get fouled to go to the free throw line and stop the oh, oh, Uncle Jordan! That's right, soon. Out of bounds underneath. If you turn your head for a second, Jordan will back cut you, go to the rim. 58. Jordan in the middle of the lane. There's the back cut. Starts right, goes left. The lob, perfect. Here's Ainge for three. A few moments ago, the lob to Michael Jordan. Here's how they set it up. The two big men set screens. Normally, Paxson runs his man off the screen. Then Jordan comes off the double looking for a jump shot. But this time, when Paxson goes, Jordan fakes, back cuts, goes to the front of the rim. Here goes Paxson around the double. The fake, change of direction, on the money with the lob. The timing is perfect by Michael Jordan. From a different angle, down low, Pippen's the guy throwing the pass. Jordan's the one making the play happen. Robinson retrieved it. And Pippen puts it down. Five from the field. Pippen going to his left. Yes, and a count. When Chicago plays pick and roll basketball, it's supposed to be an aggressive double team, almost a trap, but you see Pippen gets a clear path to the basket. And uh, not get higher fouls and, and continue to make the basket just like there. That in between game, take it off the dribble, but then no one to pull up because the defense rotates over and stops you short. Count the balls. Four on two. Grant finishes it off. No one back. The Bulls are going to fill the lanes. And this time, instead of Pippen, you've got your 6'10 power forward, Grant, scoring at the end. And we were able to do that in game two. All right, here's Pack with a very impressive drive. Epic switch. Chain net mini basketball available now on Amazon. Play basketball inside, like you're outside.